Stage four in Kirkwood, California, marks the second half of 2013 Swatch Freeride World Tour. But for the current tour points leaders, are they halfway home to the title? In Ski Men, American Drew Tabke certainly looks to be on his way. With two wins out of three events, Tabke has a solid hold on the gold bib. Switzerland's Jeremy Heights has skied on the edge, yet maintained control for second place overall thus far. 2012 champ Reine Barkert of Sweden remains in contention, taking third in Cormayeur and fourth in Chamonix. Two young and hungry freestylers, Marcus Eder of Italy and Austria's Fabio Studer, have rolled the dice to show that freestyle matters on the Freeride World Tour. For the snowboard man, Ralph Backstrom of the U.S. appears to be halfway there, with a win in Revelstoke and second place in Chamonix. Frenchman Aurelien Rutan has consistently demonstrated that he means business and is in second place right now. Two Americans have racked up valuable points as well. Sammy Lubke with his fall line assaults and the air and style of John Radoski. Defending champ of France, Jonathan Charlet finally found his stride in 2013, winning at his hometown of Chamonix. For ski women, 2012 champ Christine Hargan of Sweden has got to be there, right? Two wins in two events this year, and four wins out of the last six events, she's tough to beat. Nadine Volner keeps Hargan and the title in her sights with back-to-back second-place finishes. In snowboard women, second place seems to work for France's Margot Razies, earning her possession of the gold bib, while the Americans pick and choose their victories. Shannon Yates picked Revelstoke, and Laura Dewey chose Chamonix. With the battle for Kirkwood approaching, are the Tour Points leaders halfway home? We don't know the half of it.